the project promoting accountability and good governance of youth development programs through civil society organization engagement in Belize, PH project, is a project being implemented by Humana People to People Belize. Um, the project is funded by the European Union. The main focus of the project is to promote the use of multi-agency coordination, build capacity of youth development agencies, and increase youth participation in decision making. PH stands for Promoting Accountability and Good Governance of Youth Development Programs through Civil Society Organizations in Belize. The project basically is a holistic approach to youth development, where at the macro level we work hands in hands with stakeholders to ensure that we have multiple um, opportunities for young people to develop. And at the, at the MESA level, we had, through this project, supported the development of youth organizations, specifically in 10 communities. Um, moving down to the macro level, both the organizations at the top, Department of Youth Services, Humana People to People Belize, other senior organizations and no establishment of these community-based organizations, we can strategically mitigate the gap of services, especially as it relates to accessibility of services in rural communities. These youth organizations that are centered in these communities play an important role to ensure that services that are available in the region actually is made accessible to young people in rural communities. And the project not only works, indeed we work directly in rural communities. Through this project, we have been able to, as well, do some work in the urban settings of both Stankrik and Toledo districts, um, including Dangrigano and Punta Gorda. The agencies that were directly involved in the, in the implementation of the project is um, Humana People to People, of course, who is the, the, implementing, the lead implementing agency, and we had Department of Youth Services and Community Rehabilitation Department as our, our main government stakeholders. And throughout the project implementation, we were able to garner the support from other organizations that are involved in community development work. It has impacted us in a in, in major in a lot of years, especially you know, at first, I wasn't as perfect open and I won't talk, talk to my crowds. And during the, um, the experience, I have learned to express myself more and help my community as much as I wanted to. Um, I um, to make our group much bigger, much open to the community make more youths get involved as I did I started off late and I it helped me. This uh, uh, Humana uh, People to People uh, project uh, is a project um, that has been designed and uh, presented by, by this organization and the role of the European Union has been um, accompanying the organization uh, with uh, some funds, with a grant uh, of uh, 188,000 uh, euros, that it's roughly 210,000 uh, uh, dollars. But uh, the, uh, the master of the project has been the, this organization, the European Union, uh, uh, has just uh, accompanied the organization with, this, uh, with, with the necessary resources to, to, to execute uh, Day project. What the main impact that uh, we have to look in this project and with similar projects of this kind is uh, really active participation of the youth in the in the governance of uh, in, in 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 designing the so the society in 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 participating in how uh, public life is conducted in being um, uh, demanders of, uh, of uh, accountability and um, because youth in, in Belize represents a very high percentage of population. Uh, people until 25 years old, they are 
something like 40% of the population. And then this population absolutely has to be taken into consideration when taking the important decisions for which they will be the, the, the main uh, concern. And then and this is the impact that we are looking with this kind of projects, uh, like, like, like uh, the PAGE project, is to get a youth really involved, really uh, 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 taking their, uh, their uh, responsibility in the, in, the, in the destiny of the country, because of, of the society, of the environment, because uh, they will be the, the, the uh, I mean, they are already, but uh, they, they, they will be, we say always, the citizens of tomorrow, they are the citizens of today. This is the... Um, one of our first projects was to raise funds for our Christmas last year. Um, we did that by getting materials from different communities around San Roman and San Rosa. Other than that, we have built a kitchen coop where we are used to um, make more finance towards our group and to help out the community. I believe we need more um, educational purpose, more and more educational means and I do believe we need more support financially to continue more projects. Well, one of the most important things, first of all, is the multi-sectoral approach to programming, which is ex extremely, extremely important for the development of our country. In order to work with young people, we have to be able to provide services to young people. And one organization cannot do it alone. And therefore, it must be a multi-sectoral approach to programming, rights-based programming, to be able to provide the type of services young people need. And what we were able to successfully do yesterday was to have cabinet approve the youth mainstreaming uh, services for young people, which is a huge, huge thing um, for Belize, because we're the first in the Caribbean to actually get it done, and also the second country throughout the, Car the, the Commonwealth to ever get this, this type of uh, initiative done through government. Mm -hmm. And so with that in mind now, it's just a matter of time before you now government agencies and partners need to get together to be able to provide adequate services for young people, which would definitely be uh, interesting because of the fact that we no longer will just utilize our budgets to do what we want to do, but now we have to come together to utilize the funds given by government and other entities to literally provide greater service and access to young people. Humana's project was what you would classify as a model for what should be the right way to go about working with young people. And we had to be able to, to, to work that project, not just from what they did, but to utilize it and use it as a rights-based approach to programming throughout the country. As you know, the Department of Youth Services caters to young people. We have approximately 180,000 young persons that we must work with. And so all our programs and our existing plans had to go in a different direction to capture young people from an urban level, also on a rural level, and utilizing various different strategies. One of the main things that we're working on now is the fact that we have created online platforms. So once upon a time, you had like the National 4 Rate Center, which was just in Belmopan, catering to about 30 young people. Then you had the cadet at Mile 21, which was again only catering to some about insignificant numbers, about 30 young people as well. Now what we have done, we have literally decentralized those programs. We have young people now who are um, going to the 4-H who live all the way in San Pedro, Colombia. We have young people who are going at the cadet program who are uh, living all the way up in Sartineja, Corozal. So it has become decentralized. Right now we have 170 young persons countrywide who are participating in that program. And it's a pilot program because we wanted to see if the decentralization would have worked. And we recognize that it's going to work. So now we're pushing forward. We have a customer service training program that's going to come on board. We want to bring on board a thousand young persons, both from the rural areas and the urban areas. We also have the youth on the job um, skills training that's coming on board for 150 young people where they're actually going to get paid. But because of the significance of this youth mainstreaming, what is happening now that those young persons who wanted to become a scientist, let's say for instance, mm -hmm. or a marine biologist, can now work at the fisheries department because it has been approved by cabinet. So that's a part of the youth mainstreaming concept and bridging and strategizing the, the various programs that we want to do to be able to provide for young persons. And that wouldn't have been possible without Humana's involvement 
in the process um, and their rights-based approach to programming model that they were utilizing down south? Well, the benefits that it brings to the community is, I would like to say, very large since it, we try to get youths from all ages to come together and to do healthy behavior instead of unhealthy behaviors. We get them to do more constructive work, to try to um, uplift or improve the community. Such as things that we do is like we do like recycling within the village, um, you know, like, like village cleanup. We distribute some packages or school supplies to kids. You know, work to ensure that these youths they don't stray on a wrong path. Well, what I want to do is I want to get more youths involved in the group. That way we can always have people within that will ensure that the work we do continues. Because once once group members they dwindle down, then it gets kind of difficult to keep the group together. So, you know, once we have a lot of members and once they are actually dedicated to the work we're doing, then whatever we do, the work, it will never fall apart.